What's up guys? Welcome to our very first work outfits of the week video. I've got five different outfit ideas, one for each day of your work week, and then two of the days I have like a different variation on the same topic, which is why you probably see more than five outfits on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for voting for this topic on my Instagram stories. It was actually a 50 to 50% split between this one and a work office fashion haul. So I'm gonna upload the haul later in the week during the Black Friday Cyber Monday so you guys can get some really good steals on all the stuff. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys like this video series, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description bar, including affordable alternatives, sizing, and pricing. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Love you guys so much, and let's get started. All right guys, kicking off our week with Monday's look, we got one of my favorite combos, the blazer and jean outfit. Now, if you guys have a dressier dress code, please know you can swap the jeans out with a plain pair of trousers, but for outfit look number one, I wanted to showcase just this badass plaid blazer. I did a black on black base, a simple v-neck um, sweater tucked into some plain black jeans with no distressing, no rips, so it emulates like a more formal pair of pants, and then layered over that, of course, this awesome blazer from Express. Plaid and check is so in this season, so it's a great way to incorporate the pattern. And then for my accessories, I have this Henry Bendel red Rivington tote that can actually zip off the front into a wallet slash clutch. And then you of course have the big work bag for everything else. The tote bag is a great pop of color for the fall and winter season. And then the actual outfit itself really showcases the blazer as a statement piece. Since it is very structured and looks really high fashion, I really wanted to keep the focus focus on the jacket. And version two of this Monday look, I wanted to give you guys a more casual option in case you guys work, you know, in a, a more relaxed environment or maybe like a creative agency. Instead of a fancier blazer in version one, I went with a fancier top. I have an actual lightweight, super soft sweater that has a dramatic cowl neck. And little secret, you can actually pull the cowl neck over your shoulders and make it into the off the shoulder top for after hours. But anyway, on top of that, I have a new Everlane Go Weave Italian blazer. This is such a great everyday blazer. It is wrinkle resistant. It's nice and sturdy. It's clean line and just a very versatile essential. So I paired that with a pair of plain dark rinse blue jeans. And then to switch things up, I went with a modern dipped backpack from Everlane. A lot of you guys ask, hey, if I don't like to use a satchel or a tote and I have a long commute, what's a great option? I really love this backpack because it is so minimalist. It looks a little bit more fashion forward and it does fit my laptop and all my essentials for every day. So, and then I rounded out this outfit with a pair of Everlane Modern Loafers. I've walked many miles in these shoes. They're incredibly comfortable and it would be my suggestion if you don't like the nude pumps that I wear. This would be my suggestion for a flat pair of everyday shoes. And moving on to Tuesday, I have another double variation of the same idea. This one focuses around high-waisted, wide leg, super comfortable pants. The first outfit is gonna be a more casual look or more relaxed. I feel like this is like chic grandma lumbrarian. <laughs> um, starting off, I have just a plain Uniqlo rayon blouse. Favorite affordable button downs for sure. And then I tuck that into these $20 stretchy elasticized waist wide leg pants also from Uniqlo. I actually styled a black pair of these earlier in spring and I didn't even realize that you can style these up to look like awesome office wear. So to layer over everything, I did kind of like a cozy, larger um, sweater coat um, just to keep it into those nice cozy fall vibes. And I just really love how it accentuates, you know, the collar and it looks really great with the whole slouchiness of the pants. Um, for the tote, I went with my black high 11 tote to match my Everlane day heels. If you guys are looking for some kitten heels, those are amazing. The heel is only like an inch and a half and it almost feels like you're wearing flats. So this is like the grandma chic, cozy version of this concept. The second version is a more high fashion one. I started off with a um, necktie blouse. I wear this a lot and I just think it creates such great subtle drama on your neckline. So I have that one and I tucked it into a pair of some H&M high-waisted wide leg trousers. This one in particular had a cute little hardware pieces in the front so it kind of looks like sailor pants. And I just thought it was a really cool nod to the 70s, you guys know I love 70s so much, um, but you still look really chic and almost like a, I don't know, I feel like an editor-in-chief at a magazine in this look. <laughs> 
All right, so then for the topper, I did the camel coat that I've been wearing a lot this season. I thought the camel looks really good with the navy, but you can of course, you know, do a blazer or any other topper that you'd like with that base. Then for the purse, I have my Henry Bendel olive satchel, and I hope you guys dug both versions of this high-waisted wide leg trouser look. And moving on to Wednesday's look, we have another pair of fashionable trousers. These are also high-waisted, but these are gonna be a tie sash version, and then the bottoms could either be just like simple slim leg, or you could hike them up to be more joggers like I did. So starting off, you guys can tell I love a black on black base because it is very powerful and slimming and looks great with a lot of different body shapes. So starting from the top, I wanted something super fitted, so I went with a stretchy ribbed black model neck, I guess kind of turtleneck top to really accentuate the waist and show off these pants. I tucked that into these express high-waisted pinstripe pants that have this little sash that you can really accentuate the waist and tie it off. Almost looks like a paper bag style pant and then the actual pattern is a subtle pinstripe. So even though they are black, you got a little bit of something extra there to break up the black on black. And then for pieces of outerwear, I think it looks really great with a long line vest. Or if you don't have a vest, you can do like a shawl or a cape, something to just drape over your shoulders to be a more lighter piece of outerwear. And this is a great time to showcase any of your fun accessories that you have for the season. I went with neutrals with the gray, but you can of course whip out your fun, bright colored reds and oranges and plaids to really showcase those fun accessory pieces. And it won't combat too bad with the pants because they are such a subtle pinstripe. So lastly for accessories, I've got my same Henry Bendel olive satchel and my favorite pair of nude pumps from Sam Edelman. And moving on to Thursday's look, this one's more preppy and proper and just very traditional. We've got the classic button down collar with sweater combo. So I have this same Uniqlo rayon button down blouse as my base. Then on top of that, I have the Uniqlo V-neck merino wool blend sweater. I tuck the actual rayon blouse into my pants so that it's very secure and stays aligned throughout the day. And then for the pants, I've got the Uniqlo smart ankle pants. They came out with a lot of cool patterns patterns and fabrics this season. This one is a subtle gray plaid, but I did see tweed and satin and a couple others. I linked them down for you guys to check out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a great outfit idea for a more conservative office. If you guys do want to incorporate some of the pattern, I suggest either doing it within the trouser or you can do like a statement sweater with a plain pair of pants on the bottom. So either way, you can switch it up here. Even though it's very typical, I personally like it because I just feel really sharp and and, you know, I got my shit together. <laughs> And lastly for Friday's outfit idea, I've got two variations. If you guys are sick of pants, these are your non-pants options in this lookbook. The first one is going to be a sweater and pencil skirt combo. I wanted to create kind of like the illusion of a one-piece dress, but it is a two-piece. The top is going to be just a simple crew neck beige sweater, and I tuck that into the similar color lace skirt. So this is a nice idea if you want to tone down a more provocative fabric, do a same color or uncolor to kind of mute it down. And then also if you're short waisted like me or petite, this also creates a nice elongating visual effect because it's a very seamless top to bottom versus having two different colors that can kind of cut you in half. Of course you can do whatever you want, but I just want to throw you guys some tidbits of what I was thinking. Also a great way to incorporate some texture in an outfit. So on top of that, I did an elegant sweater coat. This one's from Madewell. It's very cozy, but that nice like simple shawl collar I think looks really professional and nice even though it's not like a blazer and I also like that the earth tones go well with the beige so with that the accessories I've got here are my high 11 brown cognac briefcase and the same nude pumps if you guys are into these romantic fabrics this is a really cool pencil skirt because you can definitely take it into the spring and summer wardrobe season too and our last look of the day, if you guys like dresses, you guys know I swear by the wrap dress style. It's a very universally flattering shape and it's a nice transitional piece into the office and then also after hours for cocktails or date night. This one that I have keeps selling out and then coming back into stock. So if you guys are really interested in it, just keep on checking back. It's by Lush from Nordstrom and it features a really nice, elegant ribbed, soft, cozy material. With that, I paired just that same Everlane 
green blazer on top. Like if you guys don't want to worry about separates, just throw on the dress and then a nice structured piece of, uh, you know, outerwear on top and you can just like roll right into the office. I also styled this very similarly in my last non-work outfit of the week with a cool suede motorcycle jacket. So if you need to just like be on the go, you can swap out the professional blazer for a statement piece jacket and then go into your nightly activities. So anyway, being a dead horse here for accessories, I've got the same red Henry Bendel Rivington tote bag. And then instead of the plain nude pumps, I have my strappy lower heel ankle ones for a little bit of sass. <laughs> All right guys, so that's pretty much it for my work outfit of the week. I hope you guys really enjoy. As I mentioned before, everything including sizing, pricing, and details and affordable alternatives are down below in the description bar for you guys to check out. Hey, thank you so much for participating and giving me feedback that you guys are interested in this topic. Thank you for taking time out of your precious day to hang out with me. I know I've been MIA lately and um, I will maybe make a video about it later, but I've just been working a lot on my mental health. And so the fact that you guys show up and show me so much love, um, know that I never will stop appreciating and love you guys for it. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed day, and I'll see you very, very soon. Love you. Bye. Mwah.